Hello, my little lions! How are you? As you can see, I look like a fucking priest today with my fucking collar. I was like, I don't care. I'm warm. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? Maybe I am the priestess. I don't know. <laughs> I do know who I am. Okay. I know who I am. Um, that's why I have a pink collar. <laughs> Cause I'm a lady. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm a weirdo. Okay, I'm very caffeinated today, guys. Uh, <laughs> as I am every day. Um, so deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. Um. Uh, okay, what is the current energy for Leo? All right, interesting. So we have the blasted tower in reverse. So something fell apart here, and it looks like you're in the rebuild. Here, let me move these guys. Alright. It looks like you're in the rebuild right now, okay? And then we have King of Cups. My boy's in love. With the Queen of Swords. <laughs> and then Two of Cups. Okay. So, what I see here is um something fell apart right something fell apart and uh and it really caused you to have kind of like an aha moment where you're like i'm in love right and then queen of swords is somebody who's kind of a no bullshit energy um it's could be an air sign like aquarius libra gemini um which um, hats off to you because they're, they're tough cookies. I would know. <laughs> I am a queen of swords myself. Um, so then we have two of cups, right? This is mutual love and union. So, though this bitch is off cutting off heads left and right. Like, look at that. She's got a man's head in one hand. She's got her sword over her shoulder. She's got clouds all around her. She's just coming in like, blaze it. <laughs> right? She's just like, ah. Um, and, and if you look, okay, this is kind of cute too. <laughs> the King of Cups is over here looking at her like, he's like looking straight at her like, what did you just do? <laughs> did you just cut that man's head off? And she's like, damn straight, damn straight I just did, <laughs> you know? And I feel like, like that's kind of cute energy, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cute. It's like, he's just in there like, <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> so, and he's just moving closer to her in his chariot. He's just like, let me get closer, let me get closer, I need a closer look. <laughs> oh, he's got a flower in his hand, he's got a cup in the other, he's just like, he's like, I'm in love, <laughs> don't cut my head off. <laughs> um, yeah, the King of Cups is also at the bottom here it says prince of the chariot of water so it's like somebody who's moving towards love right um and two of cups says that this is um mutual this is like the union right this is like you guys you guys both have love for each other in the same kind of way right so the blasted tower in reverse what fell apart here Just looking at them looking at each other and this it's just it's funny it's funny okay oh yeah so yeah so um the emperor which i'm assuming is you that king of cups right um he with the four of cups in reverse felt like he lost something here right he felt like he couldn't enjoy life anymore. He's so focused. Like, oh my god, dude. Both of these fucking... Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta show you. I gotta show you. <laughs> both of them are looking to the Queen of Swords. Both of them are. <laughs> right? That's you. And both... It doesn't matter where you're standing. You're looking at her. You're observing her. Uh, and he's just like... He's over here. He's like, I've got my wand. And I've got this goat head. Do you want it? <laughs> Do you want it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's cute. Um, okay. Um, but yeah, so 
yeah, he felt like he lost something here, right? Like, maybe she walked away, maybe, maybe something happened here that, that, where he was just like, no, <laughs> no, 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 I love you, <laughs> come back. <laughs> Um, alright, so let's clarify this Queen of Swords. Who the hell is she? Alright, the Emperor is somebody who really, you know, is very confident, stands in his power. Somebody who, um, somebody who really just has his shit together, right? And it's kind of funny because in most decks, the, the Emperor is looking straightforward, but this guy, he's like, he's got, he's on one bended knee, bro. He's on bended knee, <laughs> like offering something here. Oh, uh, that's cute. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, so let's, let's talk about this Queen of Swords. Is this? <laughs> Five of Pentacles. This is somebody that you have been very conflicted about, very back and forth about, very in your head about, right? I want to grab another card on her. Yeah, so, um, with the Magician in Reverse, it looks like well, I can tell you about the motherfucker whose head she cut off, okay? Uh, somebody here was, like, kind of um, being manipulative and lying and deceitful and, like, trying to keep her under their power, right? And um, under their control, like, trying to dictate her moves, like, make sure that all of her energy and attention goes to them, right? So she cut their fucking head off. She went into hermit mode, right? And she was just like, goodbye. I'm going to go be by myself then. Um, and, you know, it, it's hard to approach a woman of such a, or man, of such a caliber, <laughs> right? Um, and honestly, like, the gender is not a thing here. So put your energy where it belongs. You know where you are in this story. I'm just reading it as the first I saw was the King of Cups. So that's who I'm reading as, like, or from the perspective of. Um, you could be a woman in the King of Cups energy. Um, this Queen of Swords could be a man, <laughs> right? I'm just, just put it where it belongs, okay? Um, and then, yeah, so she's in hermit mode. She's alone. She's doing her thing. She's focused on herself. She's, she's loving herself, right? She's just good, right? And you've been conflicted about her. And you probably saw her cut that man's head off. And that's why you're like, <laughs> what, what did you do? <laughs> um, yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> the King of Cups. Uh, so, this would be your energy, right? The person I'm reading for. The Emperor, right? So, let's clarify you. What's going on with you? swiftness it says here like so this is very fast moving energy like you really want to like psh. at the same time we have the foolish man in reverse which is like kind of saying you don't want to be impulsive you don't want to say the wrong thing you don't want to do the wrong thing you want to come in right you know you want to come in with the right energy because you don't want your head cut off <laughs> um all right so two of cups Mutual love and union. Let's clarify that. All 
All right, so we have the last judgment in reverse with the star in reverse. So this is a situation that you felt was hopeless, right? Um, with the last judgment in reverse, it's like, like you really tried to, you were judgmental. You were judgmental, right? And that's why you thought it was a hopeless situation. You looked at it like you saw her from a different light. You were you were probably just like in your head about shit, right? That's why you felt conflicted about her with that five of pentacles, right? Um So yeah. Um you were just kinda like in that mindset of like there's no way it can't happen da 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 but I see other energy coming into play here right so what does Leo want to do wands in reverse so what I see here is like there's some truth that you still don't want to tell right there's something that you don't want to tell but then we have the Leo card the Sun card and that's kind of popping up as um, but you still want your prosperity, your happiness, your abundance. In this card, you see twins dancing under the sun, right? <clears throat> um, twins are often referred to as twin flames. or <clears throat> So it's like you want that, but you don't have to talk about something here. There's something that you just kind of want to keep to yourself. And you're worried that you're going to have to talk about it. So let's talk about it. Do you not want to talk about? King of Wands in reverse. You said some shitty things about her. When you're being judgmental, you said some shitty things about her. You don't want her to know. <laughs> you don't want her. To, you don't want to talk about what you said. You don't want to bring up what your dad said. Because you realize that you fucking misjudged her. That's why the judgment is in reverse. There was a misjudgment there. <laughs> you lied on her name, bro. You spread some bullshit. On your flame, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Little lion, why? <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> all right well if she finds out if she ever finds out about all the shitty things that you said about her how's her response gonna be <laughs> Okay, so, um, Six of Swords in reverse. Um, with the devil. <laughs> okay, so, what I see here is that she sees that there was an influencer, 
right? Because she doesn't see you as the devil. She loves you with that two of cups. And she sees that, like, like something was deliberately coming between you guys, right? So there's, like, a level of understanding here, right? If you look at the devil card. You see these two lovers that are destined to be together, right? Then there's like this devil just chilling in the middle. Has them chained up to this post so that they can always be close. They can always be close to each other, but he never wants them to get too close, right? Never wants them to get too close. So he goes out of his way to manipulate the situation. This could be friend groups or this could be something but it feels like an outside force right something that's not you um <laughs> uh, <laughs> i'm sorry i think this is funny i know i know i'm not supposed to be laughing <laughs> I'm trying not to. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. It's funny. You know it is. Can we just laugh about it? <laughs> um, Alright. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what's the future energy for Leo? Fucking dork. swords in reverse you're not going to want to cut this person off who do you not want to cut off the queen of pentacles right who is also the queen of swords right that's divine counterparts right there divine counterparts um so <clears throat> though she's in the mode of cutting off other people you're not wanting to cut her off right you see her as very abundant, very like, oh wait, I put this in the wrong spot. You see her as, you know, somebody who can really carry her own, very independent energy, right? Look, she's got a hammer, she's like, look, you guys go build that over there, and you build that over there. It's like, she's just like, she's running shit, you know? She's running shit. Um, and... I think you appreciate that about her, right? Um, five of Swords with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're so conflicted, right? <laughs> Even though, probably because of the weight of what you said. Because you done said some shit. And I feel like you know you were wrong. I feel like that's why you're so conflicted right now. You're like, there's no fucking way she's going to like me after this. There's no fucking way she's going to be cool with me after this. You know? Probably. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but. Or, on the flip-flop, you might be conflicted because you're still fucking around with this energy. Right? Because you're still all mixed up with that energy. And though you know you're wrong, or you were wrong, it's like you live in this state of just kind of like being in purgatory, like you're hanging in the balance there. So, <clears throat> okay. What did you say? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I already know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're still very conflicted. And you feel like, you feel like you lost an opportunity here. Right? You feel a little defeated by this situation. You're like, 
how do I even? How do I even? So let's answer that question. How do you even? It's like you're still looking at the negative aspect of things. Because you're just like, it's so hard for you to see success in this situation. Right? You are not enjoying your life with the Six of Cups in reverse. You're not, you know. <clears throat> and then with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it looks like you're getting dished out some hard karma for what happened. Thanks, son. Alright, so what's some advice? For the Leo. That cannot be advice. <laughs> Five of one suffer. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um... Princess of Wands in reverse. Princess of Cups in reverse. Oh, I see. Okay. So, this devil energy, right? This shows up as a Princess of Wands, Princess of Cups in reverse, right? And this is what brings about this strife. This is what you're hung up on. This is what you can't let go. This is somebody who is very immature, not like fully in their grown state, right? Um, this is somebody who talks a lot of shit with that princess of wands in reverse. This is somebody who spreads a lot of lies, who manipulates, who, you know, whatever. And then with the princess of cups in reverse, this is somebody who doesn't really have love, right? It's the devil, so it's very narcissistic. This is somebody who lacks empathy. They're just happy. They're getting a win over you. Right? Even if, even if, like, they're not happy, as long as you're not happy, they're still winning. You know? That's kind of the energy here. They siphon off the energy of your suffering. That's how narcissists work. Um, and so, um, yeah, so you're going to have to deal with that for a while. Or however long you choose to deal with it. But with the Two of Swords, I see that eventually you come to a place where you cut off an, an energy that takes away your peace. That disturbs your peace. Right? And you your peace is restored. And then with the Hanged Man in reverse, it's like all your obstacles go away. Magically. Disappear into thin air. Right? It's like... Bam! It's like as soon as this energy is out of your life, all the strife, all the hang-ups, all the shit just kind of fades away, right? Um, damn, I haven't used another deck for this reading. This deck is just kind of pulling it. <laughs> it's pulling the weight today. Alright, so, um, okay. So, any last messages for Leo before we close this? circle cycle <laughs> both <laughs> before we close the cycle the circle um i'm gonna try one more time just in case Pentacles in reverse, you will continue getting bad karma until the truth prevails with this Knight of Wands. Like you'll continue losing out. You'll continue feeling this this until the truth prevails. So all hail the truth, right? <laughs> uh Well, that sounds like a lot, 
and I wish you well on your journey. Um, I hope that you and your devil um, get shit sorted out. I hope you and your queen get shit sorted out. Um, I just, because I feel like you're just in that sense of loss. You know, at a loss. Until your knight of wands. Until you come in with your fiery, fiery sword and you're like, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Ready to talk. Um, I don't know who you need to give the truth to, honestly. Maybe both. But, whatever the case is, only you really know what actions you should take. Because whatever actions you take are the ones that you're destined to take. This is a huge karmic lesson for you. And I know that at the end of the day you're going to be fine. And that's why I laugh about it. I know that everything is going to be fine for you. This is all trivial. This is all human shit. Why do you fuck around with mortals, right? You know you're greater than that. Namaste. Have a great day.